chronic fatigue solution number one. So if you've been fatigued for more than like six months, three to six months, regardless of the cause, there's two exercises I'm going to teach you to do that's going to help start invigorating your energy. One is called the elevate, and the number two is called the gimme gimme. All right. So you're going to stand, shoulder width apart. Okay. You can see my heels. Your heels are going to go up. You're going to start up. You're going to elevate. Okay. Elevate. You're going to do this. Your arms go down like you're pushing yourself up. Your head goes up. You're going to do this for 300 times each day. Okay. So let me do this. Up, up. And then number two, you're going to do the gimme gimme. It's the same thing, but you're just like, give me the energy. Give me the energy. Give me the energy. You can do this 300 times, right? Do these two exercises every single day, 300 times for both exercises, and your energy will start to slowly improve, right? So the elevate, okay, elevate, and then the gimme gimme. Make sure you follow me here for more of these awesome solutions. I've been a patient of the Jimmy Yens for uh, over two and a half years. Um, he's helped me from everything from sinus problems to aches and pains and so forth. Uh, I enjoy the uh, the blood, the energy flow from uh, the acupuncture. Uh, when I get up in the morning or off the couch, I don't have the aches and pains of the joints and everything that I, that I used to have from the old man syndrome. I don't have that. Um, I really enjoy the, the benefits of acupuncture. In fact, my 83-year-old uh, father and 78-year-old mother are now acupuncture patients also. So I can't say enough about uh, in acupuncture and uh, it's been the, the greatest thing that I've discovered uh, as far as alternative medicine uh, in a long, long time. So I highly recommend it. So I want to continue the topic of freedom. So let's talk about health freedom. Obviously, we, we're, we're about health in our clinic and achieving a bit of health. So we're going to talk about he uh, health freedom, right? So in order to understand what, you know, I would say anything, you got to first know the definition. So I looked it up. I Googled it. I Googled the definition of freedom. So the definition of freedom is the state of not being imprisoned or enslaved, right? So how many of y'all have a chronic degenerative disorder like lupus, fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, neuropathy, um, multiple sclerosis, tremors, and the tremors are putting you in a state of being imprisoned. Why? Let me just talk about tremors. So people with tremors, they're, you know, they, one thing that they don't like doing is going out to a restaurant to eat. Why? Because they, when they're tremoring, when they're tremoring their food, sometimes they'll just flip the food into the other person's, the next, the next table's plate, right? And so they get embarrassed. So they get, so what, what happens with that? They stay home. They don't want to go out because they're embarrassed of their tremors. They don't want to go out um, and they're self-conscious. And so they're stuck in their home. What does that feel like? Being imprisoned or enslaved in your home because of your tremors, right? And so are you letting your chronic health, chronic health disorders, health conditions, chronic symptoms enslaving you? Because if they are, if they're keeping you from doing stuff, they're enslaving you and they're imprisoning you. I mean, how, what's, what's the purpose of living life when you're constantly being imprisoned, right? And so that's why we got to constantly work on our health to break free of that imprisonment and break free of that enslavement and not let our health disorders, you know, um, basically dictate how we live our life, right? But you got to, you got it takes work, you know? And so and then I was thinking, okay, what famous person can we think about when we talk about freedom? Well, how about our founding fathers of the U.S., right? So one of them is good old Thomas Jefferson. What did he say? The price of freedom is eternal vigilance. So you can't achieve freedom without eternal vigilance. You got to work on it every single day, right? And if you're in a condition right now where, you know, you're eating right and you're trying it, you really can't exercise because you're in pain or you're fatigued, you're, you're not sleeping, and you're trying to do everything you can, but you just can't get out of that prison, right? And so you do need extra help. That's where we come in and we help you. We help you restore that organ fun your organ function. When your organs restore their function, you will start to see the prison doors start to open and you're actually able to get out and start to exercise, see the sun, enjoy the walk with your dog, with your grandkids, uh, with your kids, and break free of that enslavement, right? So like Je Thomas Jefferson said, you got, it's, it's eternal. You, it's not like, okay, hey, I work on my health for one month and then I'm going to be set for the rest of my life. 
That's like the same thing as saying, hey, if I just eat one big ass meal today, then I won't have to eat for the next week. I mean, it just doesn't work that way, right? It's eternal vigilance. Our founding forefathers were super intelligent. Eternal vigilance. It's got to take, it's every day, every day for the rest of your life. Here's the thing. You're not the only person that has to do it. If you're suffering, you're not the only person that has to do it every day. We all have to do it every day. I'm not immune to it. I have to work on it every day. Is it a struggle to work on it? Yes, that's why we need vigilance. That's why it's a struggle for everybody. Everybody, including myself. But if we do it every single day, day by day, it gets a little easier, a little easier, and a little easier. You still will have the struggles. You'll still have the temptations, right? There's so many temptations out there. You still have the temptation. You're going to falter. But if you have that eternal vigilance, you're going, to, as you're going to eventually reach your definition of health freedom. All right, guys. Jimmy Yen from Achieve Integrative Health. Hope this was beneficial for you. If you haven't started on your journey for health freedom, it's about time you get off your butt and let's get working. I want you to remember, you know, everything in life is a cheat. So it's up to you to go out and make it happen.